Well, hello again, kindred spirits. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of the project that's happening in the kitchen. But right now I am out for an early morning, very brisk walk. I went out and it was in the 30s. I am now wearing my dad's very heavy wool coat. I have my mittens. I did take my hat off because I've been walking about an hour now and I have warmed up a bit since I left the house. I'm winded, just went up. Now, I've been on a constant uphill. We do live here in the mountains, so this uh, has been a good workout for me. I'm now walking into the quaint little village of Francistown. I stopped for my small coffee and I even picked up a couple small Italian subs for lunch later. like to see once again some things we're doing in the kitchen and the progress we're making. I hope you enjoy. Oh gosh, you startled me. Well no, I actually I knew you were there. I thought I would answer a couple questions that have popped up in my email box and also under the videos regarding the construction. So I thought I would just answer a few questions while I'm pricing out some new items that came in to bring to the store. So let me get started with some of these questions for you. All right, I, what I'm doing right now is pricing out, I have flasks that I had in the shop and they flew out the door, so I ordered more. These are coming in from the UK and I just discussed with Ben, I think I'm gonna order even more because every time I want to put something online to finally open up the online shopping, I have to bring it to the store to replenish stock. I can't believe how well the store is doing and I want to thank all of you who have gone to the shop. You're coming from all over, which is blowing my mind. Thank you so much. 
uh, to meet some of you in person when I'm in and out just doing some restocking or fixing the room. It has been such a pleasure meeting you. It's, it's such a thrill and to know that I have touched some of you in ways that I can't even comprehend. It's just, it's heartwarming. It, it's heartwarming. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts about the channel and what I'm sharing with you. I thoroughly enjoy it. And when I have a little slow time, I know I want to do more crafting and cooking and just having this kitchen at the state it is right now, it is kind of given me a little extra energy. It's just giving my brain um, some more to think about, which I'm always thinking about that. So I have a couple questions that I wanted to answer. They were left either below my last video. I've received quite a few emails. And since these five questions had more than one person asking, I figured why not answer them here while I'm writing out some tags to put on the flasks. I'm gonna to try to multitask, but when it comes to writing, reading, and talking, it's not so good. So the first question that I had here is, some of you have heard me saying, if we stay here, the hope is that we are going to stay here forever like we've always said, you know, we wanted to find our forever home. But there's some things that could always cause us to move. You know, it could, Ben's job could cause us to move. We're looking at the barn build. Now we're starting to hear that the barn could be the cost of a house. And that was one thing on Ben's wish list for the unicorn. We have no plans on moving. We love the house. We love this town. We love the area. We love our dirt road. So if you hear me say that, it's, it's just coming out because I'm always wondering. And I love to work on houses. And then once I'm done, I get a little bored, which leads me into the next question. Somebody asked why we're doing all this construction if we looked for the perfect house. And a couple of people asked that, and it's a good question. We moved here thinking that this house didn't need much other than maybe painting kitchen cabinets or maybe um, new countertops in the barn, you know, if we went to build the barn. But me being me, I love to personalize the home. I like to make it feel more, more cohesive. I also like to, I don't wanna say fix things, but add things that I feel will benefit the home or make the home better, such as the two windows here in the kitchen. It was odd while we're living here, not seeing cars come in and out of the driveway. It was odd living here, knowing we had that beautiful tree line and forest out the window, we couldn't see it. So it was part security, part visual, and we decided to put windows in. The fireplace is something that I wanted to create because of the wish list. And even in Groton House, I built out a wall for a gas fireplace if I chose to put it there and then we ended up selling. So I did the exact same thing here as I was gonna do in Groton, put in a gas fireplace. So that is the reason we're doing construction. And a couple asked, why not just keep looking for a house that had what you wanted? Well, sometimes you don't know exactly what you want or what you need to change. Once you're in a property, and we've been here now for a year and had a good indication of what we felt we wanted here in the home. And I'm also enjoying making the house feel a little more cohesive. This has had so many owners over the time and each owner has put their mark on it. And you can almost tell who did what. So I'm trying to make it more, once again, cohesive in the style that I enjoy and hopefully in the future, others will enjoy it too. Once again, I like change and believe this or not, you probably will believe it because you now know me. The wallpaper I did in the front hall, I'm not sure if I'm 
as keen on it as I was before. And I had one of my girlfriends over and I was walking through the hall with the B wallpaper and I said, I was gonna do this here. And she's like, why didn't you? And the only thing I could think of is I was on pain meds. I wasn't thinking straight. I had the arm surgery and I ordered the wallpaper. The color is a little bit off, it's a little bit more of a robin egg or a duck egg blue versus the sage green. So down the road, you might see me wallpapering that hall again. Ben just rolled his eyes, but um, I won't be doing that anytime soon though. See, I'm rambling now. Let's see, somebody asked, what was over the dog bowl? This was just one person asking, and I did respond below, but if you see it, it's just a carbon monoxide detector. And I don't like to be bossy, but if you don't have a carbon monoxide detector in your home, or few, get one, please. Please, you need them in your home. And of course, fire and smoke detectors, as you know, but carbon monoxide detectors are key to have in your house. Get one, okay? Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing construction? Are we moving? No, we're doing construction because we in, we enjoy it. We're adding to the house. Um, I think I pretty much covered that once that we said. Why are we doing temporary windows and whose idea was it? Well, the temporary windows, well, the windows itself, the cutouts, was at the request of our construction company. Right now they're doing filler jobs for us while they're working on another project. And when we were told that the windows weren't gonna be coming in until April, maybe longer, or could be sooner, they said, let's put them, cut the holes and we'll just put in insulation and put up plywood. That way it will be ready when they come in. Also, they didn't mention this, but I was realizing that if we have a bad winter, the snow can be up past these windows. So having them cut out ready to go will allow them just to pop them in versus doing all the construction if we have a lot of snow. Now the adding of the actual glass windows, that was my idea. I have to admit, when I was visualizing the plywood and looking at plywood for about six months, I, I was just, I don't think I want to see that. So I asked them, can we take out the window on the sidewall that's going to be replaced anyway and pop it in? And then I said, I think I have two sashes up in the garage. So we went up and looked at the sashes and I said, would it be hard to pop these in? And without question, without hesitation, without making me feel like I was asking too much, they're like, absolutely, we can do that. And they they made it work so fast. And other than, you know, some touch up, I could make them look like great windows from the outside. Inside, as you will see, or as you already saw, we, you know, they look like they were popped in. So that is why we have the cutouts and the windows in place. Part the request of the contractors, and part the request for me. So I think, those were kind of the big questions that we were asked. Some have asked, will it be ready for Christmas? I don't believe so. Um, the stages that they're taking now, once again, they were fillers and the floors are still being made. They should be done hopefully end of October, but we're not going to pull up the other kitchen floor that has the green diamonds until the cabinets are almost ready. And I'm told those will be manufactured and should be ready to be delivered sometime in December, but I don't have a date. So I'm guessing we won't have a kitchen that's functional until probably sometime into the new year, which once again, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm very much learning that I have no control over much anymore, and I'm not gonna stress about it. We had an issue with the stove because I didn't realize I had to have it hardwired. I, it was me not listening properly. So the electrician's coming tomorrow. But instead of getting upset with myself for the fact that I just didn't get it installed yesterday, it's what it is. It is what it is. I have no control. Um, I had another one of my episodes a month and a half ago. And um, for those who don't know, I get 
mini strokes for no reason. A lot of time it's stress induced. And I'm just like, I'm done. I, whatever happens, happens. And um, yeah. So anyway, I think that um, that answers a lot of the questions. If you have any other questions, maybe we can do another question answer video, but I need to focus on getting these prices done so I can bring them to the store. And I'm very much realizing I can't read, write, and talk at the same time. I can juggle two balls, but not three. All right, we'll see you later. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And I hope to inspire you and others to find their own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be, no matter where you live. Bye now. I did not know that. You know you hired the right contractor who cleans windows. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. They're not. Well, I didn't want to put them in looking like this, you know. Like I said, you're not going to get another chance. No. Nope. So I have to deal with having some brown sashes versus the white. But they're going to be cutting in the hole soon. So I put the trellis back on and we're good until whenever the next windows come in. So even though the guys are literally still cleaning up outside, I've been cooking lunch and I figured why not have it here at the table. We can look out the new windows or the new temporary windows. I made some beef stew last night. So I just reheated some. It's always better on the second day. And I believe I have a beef stew recipe on here somewhere. If not, I will have to create another one. I kind of do it by you know, every different every time, but there's some basics. But I'm excited. I think I keep saying that. So I have a little snafu, but nothing major. 
Once again, this is ahead of schedule in my mind, so I don't mind any delays. They are here to, was to install the, the gas stove. But what I was mistaken by is I thought it was being plugged into a wall unit. No, 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 it's gotta be hardwired. So in two days, our electrician is coming in to cap off this um, outlet here and bring in hard wiring and then they'll be able to complete the installation for the electric part of this gas stove. But what the guys are doing now, they're bringing the unit in, they will be putting in the pipe and the vent that goes outside. So they're gonna get quite a bit of the project done today. And then once our electrician is done, they will come back, finish their part. Then the gas gets attached, which we still have to run down here. We're, we're uh, waiting for our permits for that and then they can sheetrock. So we're still on track, no big problem. So here's the unit. No logs yet, but you get the gist of it. The glass front. This is really happening. I'm excited. Getting there. The unit is just in place. Of course, it's not put together yet, but it's ready for the electrician. And once it's hooked up to the electric, then they'll come in and finish attaching the pipe. Right now, there's just rags stuffed in there to keep the cold air out, but it's getting along. Poor guys, their truck hit up some sort of pothole on the way here, and sounds like they might have thrown a caliper or something on their brake. They're waiting for a tow truck. We had another little snafu, nothing major, but you remember I was telling you that the oven just wasn't heating up right and things weren't cooking right? Well, we just had the gas plumber here. Coming to find out the line that comes into the house to the oven is only this small line right here. And we need a three quarter inch line. So this gas stove has been kind of wishing for more gas. So they're gonna be running a new gas line from the outside wall to the stove. And we also took care of a mystery. We had a black pipe in the house, which is this one here, that a plumber by accident hit when we first moved here and we thought our well was running dry. Coming to find out, for some reason, somebody just cut the pipe, probably used to go to the pool, and it was filling up a hole here into the bottom of this crawl space in our butler's pantry. So we're gonna have the plumber cap that pipe off inside the house because that's no longer needed. But um, I can't believe that they just cut it and let it run here in the house. That's crazy, but that's minor. We are not knocking on wood here. We are not finding major stuff in this house, which is a really good thing. I just brought my flashlight to look for things. One of the previous contractors found an old ax in here and I'm gonna see if I can find anything else. But there is a concrete foundation here. So I, once again, I don't know when this whole addition was added. <laughs> 